had wished them good luck after they told her a new manager was heard. Now, as they left, she still had a thought about Tony Abbott, the Prime Minister. He had a bad temper, and she didn't know what he would be up to. One morning, she was waking up when she saw the lover come to her shed and out came one and two men. She saw they got me in the front seat. We're taking you to the mainland engine said one of the men, come along. Till you realized who sent them. Turner asked them to take me and her out of Tasman Circle, and they would like us to listen to what he was about to do. All right, take me to him, but what is this all about? You'll see. We were taken out of Tasman Shoreport in the lobby and came to the mainland. There was a house that was called a government house. We weren't going there. We went to an empty railway yard, which was the scrapyard. I was taken out first until it was put on rails. Again, Turner came out. Engine, you've given me a lot of trouble, and so has a bear. And to scrap you also, you can get out of my life heart, he said rather angrily. And, he continued, this man, Captain Cook, has given me a terrible nightmare. I want him to be put in trial for questioning. I sighed and said, Tony, there's no need for you to smuggle us out of Tasman Circle. We've done nothing to get you into trouble. I hate Tasman Circle. I've tried many helpful attempts of giving them the new curve, but you knew well. Why can't you tell me? It's only because I trust Labour. Da! Ah. You sent me a letter about your caring for your country, and I think I shall pay you back for when you were saying that what I don't like this trial and scrapyard day will happen in the next few minutes. Put them in the shed. 
the nipples put us in a cold, damp shed, and we were forbidden to go without permission. Oh dear, she listened me. I think we'll have to get back to Tasman Circle without them trying to mock us. What do you think we shall do? There's a warehouse shed over there, sir. We can go in there. We can find a few things to disguise me. Good idea. We'll see what we can do in there. Come on. We went in a warehouse to see what Turner was doing. We saw him at the desk, but the other local members were patrolling the inside of the warehouse. I'll put in smoke to get them to think there's a fire in here, but we best get my disguise ready. Actually, let's get home. Quietly and quickly, we put on a disguise to get under cover. Teddy blows smoke. Tony got a whiff of it, and so did his members. Sir, there's smoke. Smoke? What do you mean, smoke? Well, if there's smoke, there's fire. Call the fair people. But none of them got the chance to. Till it came steaming in, Turner got out of the way, but his desk was crunched. Hey, my desk! What has a train done? <coughs> hey! Turn the habit, the Prime Minister of the Nipples. How dare you smuggle Teddy and Captain Croc out of Tasman's shoulder? Who are you? Nightmare Moon, I've been wanting to meet you the first time. You should know that I helped turn it to Soto and Captain Cox lives there. And even the dusty crow you gave it was no god, so tell me, why did you smuggle them here? Turner told her he was angry because they got him annoyed. Till came up with me, I said to Turner, It is not the right thing to haunt us back when you meet somebody you haven't met before. And scrapping Tilly is no, no right thing either. You didn't read her box, so she shall, she shall tell you her story. Tilly spoke angrily with Tony. I came here some days a while back and ended up in a drink. I had a good life 
and I met you lots of times. And I have yesterday when you were wanting to do a helpful attempt. But I told you you couldn't. Then you took us here. If you read my book, you'll understand you should leave anything alone. You can't cut anything down. It makes him sick. I'm sorry, Benjamin. I didn't want to get things into trouble. You'll remember my letter from me to Ernest. It is a lesson you can't, can't work things down. Night my mom took us home and she found herself back in Trelawna. Thank you, Lorna. I bet Tony won't do a helpful attempt in future. Indeed he won't. I better get home Tommy Christina. Goodbye. It's got to be home, sir. Yes it is truly. Come on, better get back to work. <laughs>